Hey guys, welcome back to Kitchen Court Chats. Today we have two interesting and very different child support cases we're going to check out. Referee Hagen is presiding over these messy situations, and in the first one, someone is in trouble for not selling enough Christmas trees? Yeah, you heard that right. Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, it is January 4th, 2024. This is the date and time set for the uh, front of the court show cause hearing with regard to child support. Um, Mr. Johnson, if you'd state your name for the record, please. Matias Johnson on behalf of Daniel Smith, who is also on the Zoom screen. And Mr. Smith? Dan Smith. And Ms. Smith? Marie Carmen Smith. Thank you. Mr. Hogue. Jeremy Hope, friend of the court. This is the matter of Marie Smith versus Dan Smith, file number 2022-16663-DM. The matter was originally scheduled for hearing on December 7th and was adjourned to today's date. Um, as Mr. Smith requested court-appointed counsel, Mr. Johnson was assigned. The party's most recent order regarding child support is their consent judgment of divorce that requires $147 a month for two children. That Judgment of divorce has been in place since October 17th, 2022. Um, there have been two payments made on the case, a $200 payment in October of 2023 and a $10 payment in July of 2023. There's an outstanding balance of $2,516.50. Of that $2,516.50, $2,436 is owed to the other party. I can pull the payment history up for the court's review. Thank you. Mr. Johnson, anything you'd like to say on behalf of your client? Your Honor, um, unfortunately, Mr. Smith is in, in very dire financial straits at the moment. Um, he was operating a, a Christmas tree operation that actually lost money um, over the holiday season for the first time that that's ever happened to him. Um, additionally, he's about two years behind in property taxes. Um, unfortunately, I, I just don't know where um, where money is going to come from. What, I, what I've discussed with him, I think his frustration is that... <clears throat> He feels as though he has the children more than 50% of the time right now, and thus um, support should be adjusted. If the court is willing to um, look at that on their own, um, we would certainly be asking the court to do so. I've also explained to Mr. Smith that that can also be done via filing a motion. His concern with that was the cost to file a motion. I have indicated to him that there are fee waivers for motions um, that can be procured, and, and it is something that can be done without hiring an attorney. Um, so I, unfortunately, we're at a, I don't think he's hiding any assets. I don't think there's gold buried in the backyard. I, I think he simply has the inability um, to pay at this time. Um, I recognize the frustration that this causes upon the other party, not to mention the court in, in having to enforce this order. Um, but at the end of the day, if, if there's nothing there, I, I don't know what we can order him to, to give. So um, that is uh, the, Mr. Smith's position at this time. Well, he clearly has the ability to work, right? Yes, he, I've been... it's not an inability to work. You're claiming it's an inability to pay. Correct. It's it's an in, inability or bad luck as as it relates to generation of excess funds over the last year or so since this case came about. Is he currently working? Looking for work? Dan, you can answer that question. Yeah, you can ask him. I'm just asking you because you represent him. I've got accounts, um, snowplow accounts, but there hasn't been any snow. And I'm obligated to these accounts um, if there is snow. And if I don't... Um, it, puts me in another situation and uh i don't know this first time you know i'm basically all by myself and i don't have any other sources of income other than it's seasonal and uh christmas trees the overhead and i haven't even paid for all the christmas trees yet and uh i owe for property taxes my house is going to be be going for up for sale for property property taxes if I don't pay it. Um, I'll lose my property 
right now I've got, um, I took on all the, uh, all the bills and everything and loans and everything that we had. And right now I've got till Sunday to pay on some of these loans. And I don't have, unless somebody, some accounts receivable come in, I don't have the money right now. Um, okay, if it's true that you've got the kids uh, frequently, what, uh, how are you able to support them if you don't have any money? Their grandma and grandpa have helped me out a lot. Um, they have supported me 100%. And um, if it wasn't for them, I'd be dead. Other than the accounts receivable you have and waiting on snow, what, what's your plan to get through the winter? I mean, are you looking for other work? Right now, I'm, I've got contracts for snow plowing. And then if I don't, if I'm doing something else, these people that I'm obligated to, you know, and well, the last big snowfall we had uh, my my one plow shorted out and it burned up all my wiring and under the hood and from there just to get that replaced was 1400 bucks and then we got a really low bill here of 147 dollars a month so i i need to figure out how you're going to pay that because it's for two kids and I've had much bigger bills just this morning for two kids that I, I'm responsible for. For Well, I spent. It's not really an issue for me of, I, I can't change the order. That's the order that's in place. And it's well, not very high. The only reason, you got to get something figured out. The only reason I signed the order, order is because my lawyer at the time told me I, I needed to. And she closed her practice halfway through the divorce. And she didn't really care. She was just basically pushing me through the system. And um, they didn't account for my all my expenses either. Um, That's not really what I'm here to figure out either. I'm trying to figure out how I can get $147 a month for two kids. Right now, I've been, I've been taking care of the kids while she's working. And all through the summer and uh because respectively you, you know it, the, owing the, you know a little over two thousand it's not that out of control but when you compare it to a 147 it, it is okay it's a lot of non-payment so i'm not i'm i'm just trying to get you back on track if right that, now if that makes sense and, and if the story is well i'm going to just wait around then you could wait around in jail it doesn't matter to me if you're not paying at this point the difference doesn't make If I, right now, I'm about ready to lose everything. I've been, it's been suggested that I go through bankruptcy um, or go to Section 8. Um, I don't know. I am trying to see if I can consolidate my credit cards. I'm paying over $2,000 interest every month in all my loans and credit cards and everything. And at this point, I don't know. And okay. she's got she's got her income plus her boy second boyfriend's income, uh, her first boyfriend. Um, All right, Miss Smith, anything you'd like to add or say? Well. <laughs> I just have some ideas. He could scrap all of the scrap metal in his yard, and that I've would already clean done up that. the yard. I've already done that, and I. We're we're waiting on Miss Smith. We've muted Mister Smith. It's not an opportunity for the two of you to argue. I'm just um, trying to hear from everybody and figure out what's going on and see if we can get back on track. Anything you'd like to say, Miss Smith? Well, just that the grandma and grandpa he mentioned was my mom and dad. Like, yes, they watch the kids at his house, 
Um, I, I guess I really don't know what else to say. I mean, are you are the two of you in a position where you're chain where you are not operating the custody arrangement as ordered? Oh, we're following the custody arrangement. We're doing the 50-50. I am watching them more than 50-50. Well, if that's true, the two of you will have to take care of that with your caseworker and file something if you're wanting to change it. I mean, obviously, if that's true, the court's not going to file its own motion. So I, I, we're not because I don't know. You have to come to court and prove it if you're not if the two of you don't agree that that's what's happening. If you agree, you could file something. But I'm not going to take from what is said today and say, OK, well, we're just going to move this. We're just going to change things. OK, that's just not the way these these hearings work. So, sir, if that's true and you want to file a motion, you'll have to file a motion. Mr. Johnson's correct that you could you could request a fee waiver. Uh, it happens all the time. So um, you have other options if that's not how you're operating. Basically, this today is going to serve as a warning. OK, I won't we don't have to talk about jail. I mean, like I said, it, it doesn't make any difference to me if you're sitting in jail, if uh, we're not receiving payment because it's the same amount of payment coming in. I mean, I want you to be able to spend time with your kids. Obviously, that's very important. So if you are, um, I'd rather you be at home, sir. But for child support, there's nothing I can do about the order. Uh, it's $147 a month. That's not that much compared to, uh, I would say, 100 of 100% 100 of the eight or nine hearings I've already had this morning, uh, especially for two kids. So we're, we're, you're not in a spot to really um, say, well, it's too much. It's it's a It's not very much. And um, the only reason I suspect why your arrears are so very high is because of your monthly obligation is so low. So I'll adjourn this out in 60 days. Um, I, I want to see payment paid current, meaning the 147 for at least two months. Uh, maybe you'll start thinking about looking for a different job. But the thing is, is if there's nothing I can do with one, one, sir, I'll just tell you, obviously, we've confirmed on the record you have the ability to work. So there's not really a reason why you're not. And that's where I'm trying to figure this out. And I'm trying to work with you, except you're just telling me uh, what your plan is, is to wait around. And I can't, unfortunately, I can't do that. I have an order. I can't just wait around either. I have to enforce the orders as they are. And this was a consent judgment. So you did agree to it. You've had knowledge of it. So this is sort of a warning if we're here in 60 days and we're doing the same exact thing. Um, you're, you're not leaving with me. You're not leaving me with many options. Uh, I will discharge Mr. Johnson from from the case if if Mr. Smith, if you wish to request an attorney to represent you at the next one, uh, you'll need to make that request known either before or at that time. All right, thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Hogue. I do. I just have one quick question, uh, Mr. Johnson and or Mr. Smith. <clears throat> Mr. Smith just indicated on the record that he has over two thousand dollars a month in credit card obligations that he's paying. Well, how is he paying the? Over two thousand. Well, I've, I've already adjourned. I'm not asking them any more questions. All right. I, this is a warning for him. He knows that if he comes back and hasn't paid anything, uh, he, he he'll likely be in jail. So right. thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Wow, what a case that was. Although with such a low monthly payment for two children, he's still in a huge amount of arrears. Now, this next case is going to feature a much higher amount owing and also a few more excuses. Good morning. It is uh, January 4th, 2024. This is date and time set for front of the court show cause hearing with regard to child support. Uh, Mr. Tuck, if you'd state your name for the record, please. Robert Tuck. And Ms. McTeague. Lorna McTeague. Thank you. Mr. Hogue. Jeremy Hogue, front of the court. This is the matter of Lorna McTeague versus Robert Tuck, file number 2021-16432-UN. A motion order show cause was served July 12th, 2023 for an August 10th hearing. It was adjourned twice to today's date. It was adjourned as a result of uh, some payments coming in via income withholding order. Uh, this is an intergovernmental case. This is uh, an order from the Commonwealth of Virginia from Fairfax County that was effective August 1st, 20, 2005. 
That order required $258 a month in current support, as well as a $97 payment towards the arrearage. Uh, I would indicate that Mr. Tuck's uh, pay payment history is poor, though we did receive income withholding order payments from July of 2023 through October of 2023. There's an outstanding balance of $69,744.33. Of that amount, $69,636.33 is owed to the Commonwealth of Virginia, which I assume passes that money on to Ms. McTeague when it is received. I can pull the payment history up for the court's review. Thank you. So, Mr. Tuck, what's been going on? Well, the last couple of years, um, I tore my rotator cuff and I lost my sister. So I, I just been dealing with something. And uh, I moved to Arizona to help take care of my mom because she's been dealing with it. But uh, I'll get a job here. And I hadn't filed my last two year income taxes because I was homeless for a little bit because of the torn rotator cuff. But uh, I'll get back on track in, in this next month. So, Where are you looking for work? Uh, Arizona. I'm in Arizona. Well, I'm not asking the state. Like, where where have you applied? I want to make sure that you're actually looking for jobs. So I've applied and had um, quite a few um, <laughs> call them, um, health, uh, mental health places. I've been in the mental health field for the last eight years, and so I've been applying there tried a few grocery stores and I've tried a couple of um, fast food places. Or something. Okay. Have you had any interviews or any contact with the employer? Yeah, I actually got one um, this afternoon. Um, it's for uh, JP Morgan and in the mailroom there. Okay. That's good news. Um, okay, uh, Mr. McTeague, anything you'd like to say? Ms. McTeague, anything you'd like to say? I'm sorry. Uh, no, nothing. All right. Well, we, I, I mean, the, the, I'd say obviously the biggest problem is the, is the arrears. Um, wh when did we receive the case, Mr. Hogue? It was in 2021. It looks like, um, we started keeping books for the parties in October of 2021. Um, and there, like I like I indicated, we did have some payments coming right away via income withholding order towards the arrearage balance. And then again, a couple of other times for short periods via income withholding. So there've been more months with payments than not. It's just that uh, the balance is high. And I think there've been quite a few months of no payment as well. Yeah, that that's my concern. It's just, um, I guess, unfor may, probably most unfortunate for the child or children, but unfortunate for us that we have the bulk of what to collect because we have had payments since we've had the case. So, what what I'm, Mr. Tuck, anything you can pay in the next fourteen days? No, I, was, I literally haven't had any work. So I was working at a hospital when my payments were starting to come in um, steadily. But like I said, I tore my rotator cuff and muscles. So I, uh, I'm, that's been almost a year and I'm 55 years old. So it's been kind of hard to get that worked in. And everybody wants me to uh, be able to pick up over 50 pounds and I can't do that yet. But I do have, I do have um, uh, a couple of interviews lined up with a couple of temp services. And like I said, there's JP Morgan which is in the mail room, which they're not requiring me but to lift but 35 pounds. And I didn't even tell them I got a messed up shoulder. So. <laughs> is that something you're going to be able to do? I mean, you don't want to set yourself up for failure. Brother, I got to get some kind of money coming in. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here trying to help out my mom, but, you know, I still have other things I have to do too, with, like this child support. Okay. So, uh, all right. So what what I'll do is I'll turn it out sixty days and see where we're at. Um, but I, I'm going to expect some money coming in. It you, you you have worked in the past, so that that part's good. I can trust that you will again. But we got to get some steady yeah. money coming in. We're, I don't. We're never going to collect sixty nine thousand dollars. I don't know. But we we got to have you pay steady payments so we don't have to keep having these hearings. Understood. Yeah, so the sixty nine. So. 
my arrears was high when I when I found out about it. It had been uh, like 10 years before I even knew I had a child support case. So that's what that was. It's, yeah. it's not like that. You know what I mean? So no, I I understand. I'm just telling you. I, I'm just telling you. We we for what I have to do to enforce this court order in our court, uh, we just need to get. We just need to get you to pay pay steadily. Okay. Yeah, I'm I, I'm gonna do that. I just I'm, I just got here. I've only been here a couple months, and the first month was just me trying to get my mother settled and everything. And all right. So hopefully, in sixty days, here. you'll have a job, and we'll have another income withholding order in. Okay. Okay, sounds good. To me. Make sure you contact your caseworker and tell us where you're working. So that that's what helps. Okay. Do you know who your caseworker is? No, I do not. Mr. Tuck, your caseworker is Jessica Schimpf, S C H I M P F. But if Hold you on one second. once you receive, once you start working again, all you have to do is contact our front desk and they'll either transfer you to Ms. Schimpf or take the information down directly. Do you know our phone number? Uh, I think it's the one I called because I, I found out. I actually didn't even know that I had a court case. I was, you know, my son told me about it. Okay. Like I said, let I me give you the, Mr. Tuck, Tuck, let me give you the, the number. Let me give you the number directly to our office, okay? Well, I'm sure I may have missed a few, but he got up to at least 13 excuses by my count. Many excuses, but no sound plan for getting money to the custodial parent, and most importantly, for the children who are really the ones who pay dearly in these situations. Thanks for watching, and if you've come this far, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Both are free for you, but very helpful to the channel. And remember, I love you, I'm proud of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!